Our case today for business innovation is about Hilti. And Hilti is a very interesting case because here's a company that really went through business innovation. Let's look at them for a second. So they're a 5 billion euro or dollar company, whatever you choose. They were founded in 1941. They're a privately owned, family owned company originally. They're located in one of the smallest places on earth, in Liechtenstein, and they employ 25,000 people worldwide. And they have branches, of course, all over the globe. The interesting thing about Hilti is that they specialize in a field called power tools for the construction industry. And the one thing that Hilti does very well is develop and invent and design very, very specific tools that professionals throughout construction sites use for heavy duty tasks. Let's look at their business model for a second, at least what it used to be. So Hilti really talks to foremen and construction managers on site and they offer them those power tools, those big drillers, and they do that through account managers that manage the relationships with those people. They also have personal relationships with construction managers, and of course they sell them tools, they use their brand as a big promoter of their tools, and they manufacture everything themselves. That's kind of a very standard business model in which you have a product, you sell the product, you have relationships through a B2B sales force, and everybody's happy. But in 1999, something really terrible happens. Oh my God, a drop of 35% in the revenues. Big idea, big problem. So what did they do? They decided they're going to step out of the building and use customer visits to understand what's wrong. They met with construction managers and asked them, why are you not buying our tools? And what they heard was that construction managers said, well, our employees are using your tools. Your tools are very high quality, top notch, best in the industry. However, they drop those tools while they're going on breaks. While they're getting back from lunch, those tools get damaged. People don't mind. And you know what? We're paying a lot of money for those damages and we need to replace those tools. Lately, we've had some tools coming in from China. Well, they're not as good as yours, but they will do. And we could actually settle for less of a quality, but less of a damage as well. That's a big problem for Hilti. Well, you know what? Let's stop here for a second and let me switch back to you. You're Hilti CEO. You're in that seat right now. What would you do? Take 30 seconds, but you know what? Take a minute and get back to me with an answer on what would you do to get that drop reversed. Well, you've had probably a few answers here. Somebody might have said, well, they should bring new products that are even better quality, ones that don't break. Somebody might have said, well, they should build a box around those tools to protect those tools and, you know, help those employees. Somebody might have said, you know what, we should buy the Chinese tools and develop a low-cost brand. And somebody might have said something different. 
Hilti decided to take a 180-degree turn on their business model. Let's watch. 